Hey everyone, what's up? How you guys doing? Today I have a lip balm haul for you and I haven't done one in a few months so I kind of just, you know, this happened again. You know, I'm a huge fan of lip balm. It doesn't matter what brand it is or what it's meant for. I'm always interested in lip balm, whether it's like candy flavored or like healing lip balm, high end, drugstore. I always am trying lip balms and um, even though like Lipsil is my favorite, I do like to try other brands. So today I'm just going to share all of the ones that I have picked up lately and for First up, I want to talk about these Well at Walgreens lip balms. My favorite flavor of these is the Blue Raspberry one, which I have talked about in the past, and I have a few other flavors as well, but they just came out with like a whole new line for summer. They have a bunch of new flavors for summer, and I've only used two of them so far. The other ones I haven't opened yet, I just got these like yesterday, and I just found out about them. I didn't even know they had these, so I just wanted to let y'all know about them because I love these, and yes, they do look like EOS lip balms, but they're not, you know, they're the Walgreens. Walgreens brand and Rite Aid also has some but as far as I know um, the Walgreens ones have more flavors. So. The two that I have open are Blueberry Popsicle. I love love this because it smells like fresh blueberries. This smells like the blue part on those like firecracker popsicles. You know what I'm talking about? Like the blue part is my favorite on that popsicle. I always love eating that part and this just smells and tastes like it. I mean if you happen to get some on your lips as you're you know wearing it it totally tastes like a blue popsicle. So I, I love this because you all know I love like blue candy and you know blue raspberry is like my thing. I also really like this bubblegum one. It smells just like real bubblegum. It's not like you know it's not too overpowering but it just it smells like you know big league chew it just smells so good and then i haven't opened the rest of them but i will just name the flavors this one is lemon ice and i'm excited for that this one is cherry lemonade it really sounds good and then this last one i got is the strawberry banana so i haven't opened these ones yet but they they are the same brand and they look the same and everything i did find these at walgreens because they are the well at walgreens brand and they do usually have them like by the checkout they don't have these usually in the makeup department. I've never seen these in the makeup aisle or the lip balm aisle. They always have these like up by the register. So also while I was at Walgreens, I had to go check out the lip balm aisle. They usually have lip balms like by the cough drop aisle and the cough medicine aisle. And um, they had a few new things that I hadn't seen. And I actually heard about this one. This is the Soft Lips Cube 5-in-1 Lip Care. And I heard about these, like a few people tried them, but I never saw reviews or anything. So I figured to get one for myself. They had like three different flavors, but I got this one called fresh mint i think it's cool that it's in a cube like i don't have any lip balms cube shape like this i think it's so cute and different also while i was on the lip balm aisle i found a few other new lip balms this is the chapstick hydration lock the day and night lip balm it has 24 hour care and i was like that is too cool um i really like the chapstick mix stick because those are the other double-ended chapsticks that um chapstick brand makes and i'm all about hydration and really moisturized lips so this just really seemed to scream my name because it's too Two formulas in one they're non-tinted it says it all right here the day has SPF 12 and the night has a special oil special oils and antioxidants in it to hydrate your lips overnight so really excited about that and then also from chapstick brand is this pomegranate gum drop flavor I have a ton of these I love these chapstick brand chapsticks they are usually like a dollar to two dollars depending on where you buy them I have the birthday cake flavor which is my favorite but around the holidays and the summertime they always come out with really fun like like extra flavors that usually aren't available like most of the year so I didn't see this one before pomegranate gumdrop seems pretty good this is a Carmex lip balm I actually haven't tried Carmex recently I've tried it in the pot before but I'm just not a fan of Carmex like I don't like how the original Carmex smells I'm, I'm trying to look for like a cherry Carmex because I think I would like that better than original Carmex scent because I don't know what it is about that scent it's like it smells like vanilla but then the, a second later it has like this weird I don't know I just don't don't like it the ones in the little pots so I decided to give this a try because it's new and it says it's ultra hydrating moisture plus and that always just seems appealing to me this has aloe and vitamin E and it says it has a soft vanilla flavor so hopefully it's not as harsh as the original because I don't know what it is about original Carmex but it just turns me off now for a few random lip balms these are just random ones that I came across and some of them my mom got for me so I don't even know where she got some of these but um, they're just really fun I love just trying out crazy fun flavors. Some of these are 
are really funny. This is the um, Disney Princess Lip Smacker, and this is Cinderella, and the flavor is Vanilla Sparkle. So all you Cinderella fans out there, you best be getting your Vanilla Sparkle on. And of course, Minnie Mouse Lip Balm. That is always necessary. This is a Minnie Mouse Lip Smacker, and the flavor is Cupcake. Yeah, I'll definitely be using this, especially at Disneyland. You know, gotta use your festive Disney wear while you're at Disneyland. I also have Daisy Duck right here. This is the flavor says it's Daisy, so maybe it smells like daisies, I'm guessing. That'll be really interesting. I don't have any like floral scented. It says, yeah, it says it's a daisy scented lip balm. That's really cute because daisy duck. So yeah, another Disney one. She also got me this liquid lip smacker. This is the pinky liquid lip smacker. It says it gives you the perfect pink tint for lips and it's the flavor berry strawberry pink. So I haven't tried, I mean, I've tried these a long time ago, but they were clear. They just had different scents and they weren't tinted and now they're making tinted ones. So I think that's really cool, um, especially if you don't like lipstick or, you know, if you don't want to wear lipstick. So hopefully Hopefully this works out. I haven't tried these at all. It has a lot of shimmer in it. More randomness. These are old school. These right here, these are actually lip glosses, but I decided to throw them in this video because I don't know if you guys remember this, but I, like those of you who are my age, I'm 20, so I mean, even back, I think these have been around for a long time. I don't know. Um, I remember using them when I was little. My mom said that she had these when she was younger, and they're just like clear lip glosses, but they have all of these different scents. Like this one is grape, this is strawberry, and then this one is apple and I remember like I had shimmery ones of these I had like just a bunch of these and they're like a dollar you can get them anywhere pretty much and it's like a little roller ball I'm actually gonna just pop some on right now because it smells that good I have to have it very random this is a cheese puff flavored lip balm and I remember when I had the bacon one that one tasted so gross by the way just quick update it did not taste like bacon at all it tasted like I don't it was like disgusting so this is probably gonna be nasty and I don't know I I just I love the cute little packaging they give these things if you like cheese puffs this might be your thing so cheese puff and um, I also randomly picked up this NYX color bomb this isn't their butter lip balms I have those I like those but this is um, just their color bomb I guess this is uh, cheaper than the butter I want to say they're cheaper than the butter ones I think these are like two or three dollars but they're basically just a tinted lip balm I have this in the shade Arigato and it's a really pretty coral and it's not like too crazy you really can't see it you almost can't see this right here but it's it's got some shimmer to it and I actually really like it and last but not least I have some high-end lip balms I really just splurged with all of these products I was at Sephora and I did like a big Sephora haul I ended up picking up some lip balm items and I was like oh I should do a lip balm haul soon and that's what prompted me to buy like all of the other stuff I showed you at the, from the drugstore so this is what started it all this is what started this haul right here and um, first up is from bite beauty I have two products from them this is the bite agave lip mask and I've heard everybody rave about this literally every person on YouTube who was like big on YouTube has said this is really great and it's the best and you know you need to have it and I I really love bite lipsticks and the lip glosses and the lip pencils and everything that they have so I I was deciding whether or not to get this or the whipped cherry scrub and I was like you know I don't really need a scrub I'd rather have a lip mask because this is something that will keep your lips hydrated throughout the day or overnight whatever so I decided to give it a try and I have to say I don't like how it smells like just from straight up from the tube it kind of smells like I mean it just doesn't really have a sweet scent but it's not it's not flavor like I don't know it's not a specific scent to me I know agave is like a you can use it as a sweetener like I have agave nectar in my cupboard right now but this it doesn't really I don't know it's not really that strong of a scent and it's just kind of funky to me I don't know what it really is it just kind of smells like it smells like aloe vera lotion to me, which is not my favorite scent. I also purchased this. It's the Bite Beauty Lush Lip Tint. And this is kind of like a tinted lip balm. And it has a little B on the label because Bite Beauty. They have a bunch of different colors. And I picked up this one called Orchard. This is a kind of like a nice mid-tone pink. It's not too dark, but it's not like a baby pink. It's just right in the middle. And they had a red. They had really, they had a bunch of nudes really. And like a kind of a deep, deep red. But I didn't want something too dark and I didn't you know I just wanted a little nice tint so this is the color that I chose and then I also got this Kors lip butter this is in the shade wild rose and I have been using it a little bit I really have to say I love the tint that it gives it's a really it looks dark in here but I will swatch it for you it actually gives off a pretty nice I mean it is deeper but it does sheer out so it's not like too intense I 
really like the way this feels. It's super creamy and it does give you a nice amount of shine, but it's not too much, you know? It's really nice for like daytime or if you're having like a no makeup day. Oh, I almost forgot to mention these lip balms right here. It's called, it's from a brand called Maui Mikes and I've never even heard of this. They totally just contacted me like out of the blue. I guess they saw my other lip balm haul video, which got like big. I don't know. I just, it got a lot of views for whatever reason and I, I don't know why because I actually first started lip balm haul like out of nowhere. It was really just a idea that I came up with and um, I don't know, I guess a lot of people like lip balms like me. So I will keep doing them every once in a while and um, so yeah Maui Mikes they sent me these lip balms and they have so many different flavors and I was just expecting like maybe two or three of them but they were like nope here's all of them and I was like okay cool um, but my favorite one is definitely the banana it just smells like you know those Rents candies it smells just like that the banana one oh it smells so good and I'm just I'm putting it on right now because I can't help myself and I love it it just smells so good it doesn't have like a gross SPF taste or anything and they all have SPF aloe vera and vitamin E in them um, I think that these were I think it was like I read up on them on their website and um, they said that they were invented to for people who go to the beach and I guess like Maui Mike is like a whole surfer thing and just so you know about some of the other flavors this one is Hawaiian ice then I have um, pina colada which is also really good if you like pineapple-y kind of stuff this one is the natural one it has um, beeswax in it and I guess it's just unscented it's just like a natural flavor they also have pineapple then they have strawberry which is like my other favorite one and then uh, surfers mint this is a really strong mint then um, this one right here orange and passion fruit but definitely my favorite one out of all of them is banana which is crazy because I don't know like I didn't I wasn't expecting to like the banana as much as I do but if you do try this brand Maui Mike I highly suggest the banana flavor because it smells so good like banana candies like the little banana candies and it's awesome so that's it for this lip balm haul and of course be sure to let me know about your favorite lip balms or your latest lip balm purchases because I'm always always on the hunt for new lip balms to try just because I am a true like lip balm addict lipstick addict all of that stuff so comment down below let's talk about some lip balms and of course winter is coming up so I might do some sort of like winter lip balm haul type of theme coming up soon so I hope you guys enjoyed this lip balm haul and be sure to let me know all about your latest lip balm purchases and your favorites of course my favorite is still lip soul this is like holy grail always and forever status and i just quickly mentioned that because you know i just have to that's just instilled in my brain like i have to say every time i talk about lip balm but anyway i will be having like a winter lip balm haul i figured once it gets closer to that time like maybe september or october i figured i'll do some sort of like really you know meant to soothe your lips and heal your lips kind of lip balm haul so let me know if you guys would be interested in that and as always thank you so much for watching